Well, welcome back to my farm. Uh, today we're looking at uh, buffer strips and some conservation practices we do. So I'm standing in a buffer strip. What a buffer strip is, is uh, something that would parallel a waterway, uh, a river or a ditch. Uh, here we are next to a ditch. So we have 33 feet of grass. This is switch grass. It takes a little bit to establish. Uh, we did have to mow weeds in a spot, but it's best to leave it grow tall to also encourage wildlife. So these, what the buffer strips really help with is preventing you know, nutrients and soil to get into the uh, waterway. Tile drainage is uh, underground uh, pipes or tubing that are either uh, perforated with you know small holes to let water in but not you know chunks of soil and we we'll run it underground and of course to make water flow downhill or water flows downhill of course so it will go like up the slopes gradually and across slopes and so you know, we may you know put in uh, extra feet than you would for a ditch but it removes water slowly and evenly and lowers the water table so that roots can grow and roots don't grow in saturated soil very well and so it also tile drainage even helped us in the drought I believe because the uh, plants were not stunted as badly from the wet weather of the previous month. The soil is uh, worth more to me than uh, Getting the, the, getting the last uh, uh, nickel out of next year's crops. We want to not deplete it faster than we can improve it. You know, So that's a, it's a long-term goal. Well, as a farmer, I care about water quality because, well, it's the right thing to do. Um, you know, we're, you know, issues we have you know, with the pollution river, it's not any one of us, it's all of us, and we're all in this together.